Good morning everyone, this is Chris for the 365. I am on Mount Ida Road, just east of the Mount Ida Miner's Ranch um, checkpoint, where they have stopped letting people go through for the wall fire. So I thought I would get up here and at least get you a little video as close as I could to the fire that, as it stands and give you some statistics. So let's, let's review what has happened overnight here. So the wall fire, started a couple days ago it is 4,400 acres wide and only 17 percent contained this morning uh, there are 500 structures threatened as of now there's evacuation orders for a wide area i don't have those stats right here but i will post those in the link i'll set put a link to the cal fire um, information that they put up uh, there are 10 structures destroyed sadly and five have been damaged there, and as I said, there's 500 threatened. And when I turn this camera around, you'll see what I mean. Um, if you have been evacuated, under if you're if you're under an evacuation warning or have been evacuated, you should follow everything that the officials say. This is for real. Uh, don't stay at your house. Don't do anything like this. Fire does not care if you're trying to fight it. If you have enough trees around your house, it'll just burn right through you. So go. Save yourselves. Don't. Your stuff can be replaced. Everything can be replaced. Orville, you can't be replaced. Get out of there if they ask you to evacuate. The evacuation center is the Church of the Nazarene on... Um, 2238 Monte Vista that is near um, Las Plumas High School so it's right over there that's where there that's where everybody goes to uh, if you need any supplies if you need a place to stay the church has opened up to do that and as of right now there are 1086 firefighters on this fire so this is a real deal this is burned uh, as I'm looking over the hills this has burned a large portion of uh, near Bangor uh, kind of to the north of the well, north of Highway, uh, is I think it's 162 or Dam Boulevard, uh, and it has it's threatening a great swath of area. So make sure that you get out of this area. I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you what I'm looking at. Thank you for watching. I will post updates throughout the day. I'll try to keep you as informed as I can. I'm going to hit every source I have and try to get as much information and maybe even get a, I couldn't find a good map of where it's burned and where the evacuation zones are. So I might make that or find that for you guys. But either way, make sure that you um, check back in and I'll get you some information. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. Right now it's 1030 and the information that I on the preceding video I had was from uh, 7 a.m. So I've got just a few different uh, changes. The Cal Fire has put up just a slight bit of changes. So the fire has now threatened 750 structures. So it's grown a little bit. Ten structures are destroyed still. Five, I'm sorry. Yeah, five, ten structures are destroyed, five damaged. Um, that there have been four injuries. Uh, apparently none of those are fatal that's excellent news and the evacuation has been expanded which was in the incident report so I won't reread that I just wanted to update that stuff the, it's still 400 I'm sorry 4,400 acres 17 percent contained so they still have a long way to go on this one uh, while I was driving back down to re, um, put this report on the internet uh, I did see a lot of firefighter response from various areas all over the place. They are using both uh, 
the 162 highway and also Foothill Boulevard. So if you can stay off those highways, that would be super helpful. Um, they're going up towards that fire to try to help all of us. So let's make sure that we stay out of their way. Um, there is, as of right now, I believe it's 1,086 firefighters, but that number's changing all the time with the numbers of trucks that I saw going up there right now. So stay safe, stay out of the way, and uh, these people help you and help us. There's a, uh, evacuations going on. That seemed to be proceeding fairly smoothly. I saw some backup on Highway 162 while I was coming down here, but nothing that couldn't be handled. Highway 162 is open both uh, open normally, so traffic's flowing on the normal lanes. They haven't closed it for all traffic going one way yet. I believe that's to make sure that they can get the fire trucks where they need to go and still get everyone who's being evacuated out. So like I said, please stay out of the way if you can. If you've got an evacuation warning, prepare to go. I would even say at this point, maybe start thinking about staying with friends or something if you have a warning. If you have a full on evacuation, go. There's no time with the fire to gather up stuff. It's not like with floods where you might have some advance warning. The fire can literally change directions at any moment and inundate your house. So get out of there as fast as you can. I'll be reporting as often as uh, information changes today. And as always, like, share, and subscribe, mostly to get this information out. And um, keep checking the website, and I'll be posting up information. Thank you for watching. Bye.